My most memorable WMU experience probably was the first time I even came to campus. I was going around campus, everyone was just so friendly and just saying hi, opening the door and just smiling. So it just automatically made me feel like this was my school and my campus. I think one of my most memorable experiences would be going to my first hockey game at Western. And just the student section, there's so much energy and just so many chants. I just love the hockey games a lot. Those memories are, will stick with me for a long time. My most memorable Western experiences was the International Festival, and I represented my, my country, Oman, as the Oman Students Association, and we won the best booth. Something that I love about being a summer grad is that I have more time to focus on my future and explore more opportunities. Western has prepared me for my next steps in life. They've brought in Kellogg to the School of Business, and that's how I landed my job as a student support in social media. And that has opened up more doors for my creative career than I could have imagined. Well, overall, the experiences I've had have to do with the hills in Western because there's just so many. And I used to work in admissions where we did tours all over campus. It helped me a lot with like not getting that freshman 15 that everybody talked about. I've been obsessed with the atmosphere of the library. I've found, I've met so many people there. I have so many memories there. Some of my fondest and proudest moments have taken place at the library. Not the one on campus. I think my most memorable experience at WMU was the Great Flood of 2017. And this was actually my freshman year and I was in the marching band. And this is when the football field flooded. You know, people were coming together to push people's cars out of two feet of water. I really got to see this sense of involvement and community right as I was getting into Western my freshman year. My most memorable moment here at WMU is when I suffered a stroke back in November of 2020. At that time, my prognosis was very bleak. But because of Dr. Harrison and the School of Social Work staff and the disability staff, I am living proof what WMU community can do at its best. I've really learned that anything is possible. Being 39 years old, I have a full-time family, I have a full-time job. WMU really made it possible for me to finish school while doing all the other things I have going on in my life. Definitely proud to be a Bronco. And the reason I am uh, graduating on schedule on time, it's the support from my family. 20 years from now, I think I'll remember my time at Western as the most exciting, fun learning experience of my life. I learned how important it is to find your tribe of people. Second week I was here, I was lucky enough to find my three best friends. You're gonna have a lot of different friend groups, you're gonna join a lot of different organizations, but once you find your family and your people, the memories that you make with those people are what you'll always be able to look back on. You know, when I came to Western, it just felt so perfect. It felt like family. I'll remember all the Broncos around me, you know, whether I met you in the dining hall or during WSA or in one of my business classes, you know, I'll just remember the people at Western Michigan University. And that's what you'll know is so special about this college. Hello Broncos, I'm Edward Montgomery, and it is my great honor to serve as the ninth president of Western Michigan University. Let me begin by extending a very heartfelt congratulations on your graduation. Today's event is all about you. It's a moment for recollection and reflection, for appreciation and celebration. Summer 2021 graduates, as you progress through your WMU career, you learned many things in the classroom, in the laboratory, on the stage, in the workshop, on the runway. But you also learned many things outside the classroom, like where you could find a great pizza late on Friday night, which corner of Sproud Tower 10th floor study lounge was the best place to cram for a test, and how to make the perfect ice cream sundae at the Valley Dining Center. 
During your years here, you learned things that generations of Broncos have discovered. When the global pandemic altered the final stretch of your college experience, you did what Broncos have always done. You paused. You looked around to gain your bearings, and you moved forward, even as the world changed in ways that no one expected. You did all of this together. Graduates, you built a camaraderie and a shared experience that will stay with you the rest of your lives. You learned who you could count on, that family could become friends, and friends could become family, that faculty can be great sounding boards for ideas, whether in person or on a screen. And you learned that Western is packed with people who are prepared to do whatever they could to help you continue your studies in new and very different ways. You learn that we are here to help you thrive today and into the future. Although technology was valuable in allowing you to attend classes, RSO meetings, town halls, and study groups, you discovered the truth in theologian Thomas Doyle's statement, what's most important is human connection. You powered through classes using WebEx and Blackboard, but hearing someone's voice and seeing their face could make a world of difference. As you moved out into the world that's slowly reopening, don't lose that appreciation for what it means to connect with someone else when it might be more convenient to let technology intervene. This is the day you've been waiting for. Wherever you are, whenever you are watching this presentation, please know that everyone at your alma mater is immensely proud of you and what you have accomplished. The lessons that you learned about yourself as you dug in and pushed through to earn a college degree during a global pandemic will stay with you for the rest of your lives. The ability to proudly tell people that you graduated from Western Michigan University in the year 2021 will always be a badge of honor. Summer 2021 graduates, the entire Western Michigan University community shares your joy in this achievement and stands with you in anticipating great things for your future. And to that inner circle of families, friends, mentors, advisors who are right there with you, I know how elated all of you are. The effort and exertion that you witnessed the late nights and long days, the uncertainty that those students pushed through are finally culminating in a diploma, a newfound confidence in what can be overcome and a sense of accomplishment. And graduates, we're all awed by what you accomplished. As Olympic legend Jesse Owens said, we all have dreams, but in order to make dreams come into reality, it takes an awful lot of determination, dedication, self-discipline, and effort. You took those words to heart. You persevered. As you move through your life, you're going to discover that what you have been building over the last 15 months, the ability to adapt and achieve even in the face of many challenges, will serve you well personally and professionally. You have a rock-solid foundation that will take you as far as you want to go because of the tenacity you have shown and the purpose we hope you discovered on our campus. Purpose, said the late actor Chadwick Boseman, crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason you are on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. And wherever your path leads you, know that you are part of the WMU community forever. No one can take away the experiences that you have built here, the relationships that you've forged. You are now part of a 260,000 member alumni family that reaches around the globe and into nearly every nation. Never hesitate to reach out to your fellow Broncos for help and guidance, and then pay that support back by offering the same assistance to others. I hope that in addition to making you more resilient, earning your degree at this time has also made you more appreciative of the things in life 
that we once took for granted. Share that appreciation with those around you. Take a moment to reflect on everyone who is part of your unique Western experience, whether it was a faculty member, an advisor, a mentor, or, of course, the many family and friends who are cheering for you today. Don't forget those who helped you get to this point. Show them what the support meant by reflecting your gratitude in your actions and deeds. President John F. Kennedy once said, as we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. As you enter this new phase of your life, you are ready for new challenges. You are equipped to face uncertainty, to find a way for yourself, and just as importantly, to become an example and help others along the way as you can. As singer and humanitarian Dolly Parton extols, don't get so busy making a living that you forget to make a life. You, as WMU alumni, are prepared to meet and exceed any goals you have set for yourself. I have no doubt that you will use the knowledge that you have gained on our campus and along with your creativity, ingenuity, and grit to show the world exactly what Broncos are capable of. Western Michigan University Summer 2021 graduates, congratulations on your graduation. Everyone at your alma mater is immensely proud of you and is eagerly anticipating cheering you on in every future success. Go Broncos! Congratulations, graduates. As the WMU Alumni Association Board President, I want to welcome each of you to our alumni family. As of today, you are now a part of a community of over 250,000 alumni who are proud Bronco graduates like yourselves. With Broncos in all 50 states and in over 100 countries around the world, you will never be far from your Western Michigan University alumni family. Your last few semesters at WMU have certainly been unique, but like the alumni featured here today, your education, your experiences, and the relationships you've made at WMU have prepared you to make your mark on the world. My name is Gabriel Jerome. I am the executive director and co-founder of Speak It Forward Incorporated, as well as one half of the poetic spoken word duo, Kinetic Effect. Because of WMU, I was able to grow in ways I never thought possible. As a member of the Lee Honors College, I was allowed to do my final thesis in whatever field that I wanted. And so I ended up putting on a full-on production theater show as my final project. I was continuously encouraged to pursue my passions, which allowed me to do what I do now, both as a performer and speaker, but also as a proud member of Kalamazoo and someone who gives back to the community at every chance that I can. I'm Keith Thompson. I'm the chief meteorologist at News Channel 3 in Kalamazoo. I went to grad school at Western and I had already been in my field for several years, but I wanted a little bit more backing, a little bit more standing. Because of WMU, I feel like my work and my experience in television is so much more well-rounded and well-grounded. I feel like it adds so much more to my job, my occupation. My name is Sean Markovich Fields. I am a registered nurse who also owns a maternal infant health program called 20 Hands. We work with pregnant women and babies. We are here to help reduce infant mortality in the counties that we live in. We started this work in my home. It just took off from there. We served one county when we started and we have actually served over 1,800 women since I started this program. And the education that I received was phenomenal. And the professors that I had and the mentors that I had are still part of who I am today, even my friendships. Because of WMU, I'm doing the work that I love that I'm passionate about, and I'm completely blessed to have that opportunity. My name is Randall Roshan. I'm a pilot for United Airlines, flying the Boeing 757-767 airplanes. I truly cannot tell you how happy, blessed, just wonderful how that experience was for me at Western. Western helped me get to where I am today. If it was not for Western and the opportunities that I gained at Western, I'm not sure where I would be. 
today. Western Aviation Program is a prestige program, but I can honestly say probably about 85% to 90% of us that I went to school with, we're all working somewhere that we enjoy right now. Throughout this whole journey, I've always given back to Western uh, because of what Western has done for me. They're my alma mater and you know, I'm proud to be a Bronco. My name is Lisa Marie Johnson Williams. I'm an education administrator. My journey actually started at Western. Fortunately and unfortunately, I became a teen mom. When I first got to campus, everything that we owned fit into one garbage bag. What Western did for me was it opened that door for me to become who I wanted to become. It showed a, a girl, a black girl from Detroit, a single mother with a son that she could soar to higher heights. She could become successful despite the odds, despite all the circumstances that were stacked against me. I mean, I just feel like Western is just this magical place where all of your dreams can come true. I'm just so grateful and appreciative of those opportunities that I wouldn't have known existed had I not come to Western. My name is Antonio Neves. I am the author of Stop Living on Autopilot. I travel all across the country and I travel all across the globe and work with major organizations like Google, like Amazon. I'm a, a first generation college student. I did not know what to expect when I landed on campus that, that first semester. As I remember when I first walked into the Hayworth College of business. It, it made me walk taller. It made me feel like that I could be someone. But most importantly, what it did for this first generation college student was that it helped me slowly but surely build my confidence. It helped me realize I could compete on any scale. Before I knew it, I was like, no, I'm good to go. I'm a Bronco. I went to Western Michigan University. I can succeed in Kalamazoo, but I can also succeed in New York City and beyond. Now that you have graduated, I truly hope that you will continue to stay connected to WMU. The Alumni Association is here to support you as you embark on this next chapter in your life. Everything from career services like resume building and interview support to networking with other fellow alumni, we are here for you. You are important to us, so we really hope you'll stay in touch. We are so proud of all of your accomplishments thus far, and we can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations again, and go Broncos. Greetings, graduates, families, support system, friends, faculty, and staff. Congratulations on achieving this incredible milestone. You are officially a Bronco alumnus. Today, I want to take a moment to reflect on what I know has been a challenging end to your academic journey. I can't imagine the difficulties you faced as a student over the course of your final few semesters, but I have heard the many frustrations and fears you've experienced while continuing your education during a global pandemic. But the best news is you made it. You succeeded. As I think about the journey you have been on, I am reminded that much like your academic path, Life is a series of ups and downs. And although we have seen our fair share of downs these past few semesters, I encourage you to recognize the significant occasion. Celebrate this up with intentionality and pride. You've earned it and you deserve to revel in this moment. I know that for many of you, this exact moment may not have been the one you've been envisioning and dreaming of for years or even decades. Today, you may not be walking across the stage shaking President Montgomery's hand or sitting in person amongst your peers. However, I think it's vitally important for you to look around you at this very moment and find joy and gratitude for the way it does look. Whether you're gathered in person with friends, family, and your support systems of all kinds, or whether you're viewing this individually, joined by a fellow student, faculty, and staff, Look around you and see this as an incredible occasion of achievement and joy. You have made it today against some of the most challenging odds, and you are courageous and resilient, and I could not be prouder of you for pushing through these times of your WMU journey, pandemic-related or otherwise. You are now officially in the light and worthy of praise for making it through that dark tunnel. This is a moment you should fully absorb and draw on in the future when you inevitably experience another one of life's downs. 
Remember this up with appreciation and use it to remind yourself that each down is eventually followed by an up. Celebrate the victories and take time to recognize them as key in exceptional snapshots of your life. It is through darkness and challenge that we fully appreciate and cherish our successes. This is your moment. Enjoy it and congratulations. College of Engineering and Applied Science graduates, congratulations. Through your hard work and perseverance, you have successfully hit a significant milestone in your journey. Today, we celebrate you. You now know one thing for certain. You know that with talent, determination, and hard work, you have accomplished what few others will. You were successful, you graduated, you are career ready. So in the future, taking on hard stuff, stuff that seems impossible, you will not be in uncharted waters. On the contrary, you will be prepared and you will be effective. The only question is how bright will your future be? Through your time at WMU, you've acquired the skills and knowledge to solve many problems of today. Opportunities of the future will require new knowledge and new skills. So please keep learning, stay engaged, and prepare yourself for the grand challenges of tomorrow. Your success will continue through building value and an ethical reputation. In doing so, you will continue to make a difference and find satisfaction that comes from doing truly valuable work. Today, we will also take the time to thank our graduates for working with us through this extraordinary year. Your courage and resiliency have been amazing and will serve you well into the future. It feels strange not to celebrate this special event face to face, but once it is safe to do so, we will. We look forward to that day, and we hope you will come back and celebrate with us. Please know that you will always be a member of the CES family, so please stay connected with us and make sure to come back to see us often. If you need anything, please reach out. We are ready to help you in any way we can. CES Broncos, again, congratulations. Continue to be bold, be innovative, and be effective. Go Broncos. President Montgomery, it is my pleasure to present these candidates who have completed all requirements for their degree in the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences as prescribed by the faculty of this college. Graduates, this is the moment you have all been waiting for. By the authority of the state of Michigan, vested in the Board of Trustees. I hereby confer upon you the appropriate degrees as indicated in the program with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Now, let's meet our graduates. It is my privilege to announce the doctoral recipients of the College of Engineering and Applied Sciences. Kenneth Kwayu. Doctor of Philosophy, Civil Engineering. Data mining of unstructured textual information in transportation safety domain. Exploring methods, opportunities, and limitations. Chair of Doctoral Committee, Valerian Quickizili. Sajid Omran, Doctor of Philosophy, Civil Engineering. Improving leadership and decision-making skills of construction project managers through the development and use of simulation model and framework. Chair of Doctoral Committee, Decker Haynes. Hooded by Osama Abudaya. Juan Villanueva Ramirez. Doctor of Philosophy, Electrical and Computer Engineering. Optimized insulation design of power transformer windings under fast voltage pulses. Chair of Doctoral Committee, Pablo Gomez. President Montgomery, it is my pleasure to present these candidates who have completed all the requirements for a graduate degree as prescribed by the graduate faculty of this university. Viendra Sina Bhuta Patil, Master of Science in Engineering, Civil Engineering. Iqbal Singh Chahal, Master of Science in Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Sriloy Das, 
Master of Science, Computer Science. Russell Goodrich, Master of Science in Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Accelerated. Ahmed Hassan, Master of Science in Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Divyesh Kini, Master of Science in Engineering, Industrial Engineering. Mahimiki Varma Kanduru Srinivasa, Master of Science in Engineering, Industrial Engineering. Aditya Kurde, Master of Science in Engineering, Electrical Engineering. Ruchik Naram, Master of Science in Engineering, Industrial Engineering. Prabjot Singh, Master of Science in Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Nitish Vemparala, Vemparala, Master of Science in Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Anurag Narian Wadkar, Master of Science in Engineering, Industrial Engineering. Ben Walkowiak, Master of Science, Information Security, Computer Science. Eshani Wankade, Master of Science in Engineering, Industrial Engineering. President Montgomery, it is my pleasure to present these candidates who have completed all requirements for the bachelor's degree as prescribed by the faculty of this college. Ruth Bowre, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Electrical Engineering. Joshua Desmond, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. Nicholas Ferrand, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Electrical Engineering. Parth Kadav, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Mechanical Engineering. David Lunt, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Aerospace Engineering. Charles Motley, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Industrial and Entrepreneurial Engineering. Mariana Pereira Falero, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Civil Engineering. Brendan Schultz, Bachelor of Science in Engineering, Aerospace Engineering. Hello, class of 2021, Tim Allen here. As a fellow Bronco, my advice to you upon your graduation is to really enjoy this monumental moment in your life and also set a goal for yourself, a very specific goal. For me, it was The Tonight Show. I wanted to get booked on The Tonight Show to do my comedy set for Johnny Carson. As I tried to make that happen and get closer to achieving that goal, I was fortunate to have a lot of other career opportunities open up to me along the way. Opportunities like home improvement, the Santa Claus, and now here I sit, kind of graduating myself from nine seasons of my TV show, Last Man Standing. All because I set one goal for myself when I was close to your age. So onward, graduates, you never know what can happen. Make lists, set those goals. Technically, you're already ahead of the game reaching the goal of graduating, so now make sure you enjoy it. Go where you want to be, not where you don't want to go. And whatever that may be, there are Western Michigan University alumni everywhere in every state in every industry. Whether you're in L.A., in Kalamazoo, in your living room, you're part of a huge network of Broncos who are connected through our shared experience as WMU students. We're all proud of your hard work and perseverance and can't wait to see what comes next. Congratulations and go Broncos. So you graduated through a pandemic. What's the percentage of people in history that can say that? But most importantly, you have proven to all of your loved ones, your professors, and most importantly, yourself, that you have what it takes to succeed against all odds and obstacles. Remember to carry that same determination with you throughout your entire professional career. And again, I congratulate you and I am so honored and proud of you this year. Hey Broncos, congratulations on this amazing achievement that all of you have made. The world is completely open to you, and I only wish you the best. You've already shown us just how awesome you are. I wish you the best as you move forward to embrace life's new adventures. 
It's Coach Lester. I want to say congratulations to all our graduates today for earning your degree from Western Michigan University. You now join the hundreds of thousands of alumni like myself that are in the world, in the workforce, trying to make this world a better place. I can't wait to see you do the same thing. Today, we celebrate you and your next new chapter in this exciting journey. Congratulations, graduates. I am Terrace Todd, and 23 years ago to the day I actually sat in your seat and now appointed by the White House to the U.S. Department of Education here in Washington, D.C. As a WMU graduate, the stars are the limit for you. Again, congratulations and go Broncos. Hey, guys. My name is Paul Blair, uh, professionally known as DJ White Shadow. I'm a Grammy-winning producer and songwriter and uh, most importantly, a Western Michigan University graduate. Uh, checking in today to uh, let you guys know that I'm sincerely proud of you and congratulations on graduating. Um, you can do anything out here if you put your mind to it. Go Broncos. We know you have a great future in front of you because it's always a great day to be a Bronco. Congratulations, what an accomplishment. Enjoy your careers. Cannot wait to see what you have in store on the next leg of your Bronco journey. Again, welcome to the family and congratulations. But just remember this, no matter what you do, no matter where you go, you're always gonna be a part of WMU. Congratulations to all the graduating Broncos. Best wishes on your future endeavors. Congratulations, WMU grads, on behalf of Bell's Brewery. Go Broncos! Let's ride! Hi, big girl. Um, I just want to say congratulations. I'm proud of you. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations on your graduation. Hello, big bro. I want to use this opportunity to wish you congratulations on your graduation. I wish you success and I wish you greater height in life. Congratulations, big bro. Very, very proud of you. I wish you greater height. Love you. Hi, precious. I want to say congratulations to you for your graduation ceremony. Me and your mom, we are so proud of you and we continue to make us proud of you. Thank you. Congratulations. Bye. Congratulations, Maddie. We're very proud of you and we love you. Hi, Allie. Hi, Mommy. Hello, Mommy. Congratulations on your graduation. We're so proud of you. We knew you could do it. We love you. We love you. Lower kisses. Congratulations. Congratulations, Kayla. It's been a long five years, but here we are. Your hard work has finally paid off. We are excited for what comes next. Keep following your dreams. We, we love, love you and are very, very proud of you. Congratulations, Mary Cheney. I'm very proud of you. You did an outstanding job all these years. Daddy love you, baby girl. Congratulations, Amari. The tassel was worth the hassle. You did it. Woo woo! Congratulations, Shannon. Congratulations, Shannon. Congratulations. We're so proud of everything that you've accomplished. We're celebrating you. Yay. Congratulations, Congratulations, Nate and Kelsey. Kelsey. We're so proud of you. Go Broncos. Congratulations, Congratulations Kayla. Kayla. We're, We're so, so proud, proud of you. you. We, we love, love you. you. Congratulations, JJ! Jared John Fry, we are so proud of you and love you! Great job! Congratulations, Maria, on your graduation. Super proud of you, sweetheart. Love you. You did a wonderful job. Congratulations. Congratulations, Matthew, on your graduation from Western Michigan. Mom and Dad are very proud of you. Can't wait to see you in that open seat. Love you! Congratulations, John. All your hard work paid off. Proud of you, son. Congratulations again. Love you. We're proud of you, Alex, for your accomplishments. Congratulations. We love you very much, and we know you're going to do great things. Love you. Buddy! Hey, Brendan. Congratulations, hon. Nice job, kiddo. Your mom and I are real proud of you. You've done real well. 
Happy graduation day. We, we love, love you. From mom, dad, Ronnie, and John, and me, we are so proud of you. You've grown into an amazing young woman. You're gonna be an amazing lawyer wherever you go. Keep doing great things and keep, keep reaching for the stars. Love you. Congratulations, mom. I'm so proud of you for how far you've come. I love you so much. Friend Reader, I am so proud of you. I've seen you work very hard, and you've risen to every challenge you've faced. No matter where you go next, you're already a success. I love you, Bren. Congratulations. Hi, Chase. I hope you feel very proud of your achievement today. And I know when you move forward in your career that you will definitely have many more successes. We're so proud of you, son, on your Western Michigan graduation. Love you. Congratulations, Alec. I'm so proud of you and to see that all the hard work that you put into study has finally paid off and now you're an official college graduate. Congratulations, Alec. We made it four out of four. Thank you. Love you. Way to go, Mandy. I love you. I'm so proud of you. You did this on your own against many odds and challenges. And I just want you to know I'm very proud of you, happy for you, and I love you. Yeah, 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 fire. I love you, my firstborn. Congratulations, Maya. I'm proud of you. Congratulations, Maya. We, we love, love you. you. Congratulations, Congratulations Nicole. Nicole. It's been a long journey. You've worked so hard. And congratulations. We're so proud of you. And you we, did it. And we love you. Yay! Hi, Nicholas. It's Aunt Renita. I just want to tell you congratulations. I love you. We knew you were special from the moment you were born. And you could just continue to amaze us with all the great things you are doing. Keep shining. Congratulations, Nicholas. From Mama Rose and Papa Herman. We're so proud of you. Love you. Shannon, we are so proud of you. You have worked so hard. You deserve all the love today. Today's going to be the first of many proud and successful moments in your life. We love you and happy graduation day! Graduates, as we conclude this program, I'd like to leave you with a charge for your future. You have been heavily invested in securing your degree. Know that this remarkable accomplishment is more than a piece of paper or something to cross off your task list in life. The opportunity that you've been afforded to earn a degree from a major research university comes with certain privileges. Doors will open to you and you may be the first person from your family, your community, or from your background to have a seat at the table where decisions are being made. Use those opportunities, those chances to make a difference. Be an active citizen. Don't sit it out, for if you do, we all lose. The world needs you. You have shown that you have the special blend of talent, grit, passion, and compassion. It's what brought you here today and what makes Western such a special place. Don't stop believing in yourself. Don't stop thinking and questioning. Don't stop fighting for your beliefs, your values, your family, and the world we live in. Take your determination and your diploma and make a difference. As Nelson Mandela stated, we can change the world and make it a better place. It is in your hands to make a difference. My greatest hope is that you choose a life journey that inspires you and feeds your soul whether it is in pursuit of more education, building a satisfying professional career, or raising a family. Please offer your services, use the talent, the experience, and the determination that you have proven to possess, and do it to the fullest so that your light shines for others. Graduates, we can't wait to see where your life's journey takes you. Wherever you might be, don't forget that your Bronco family is proud of you. Congratulations and best wishes 
on your next chapter. Breathe.